Hey guys, so Apple has officially released today a new update for the iPhone. Everyone can now download iOS 17.3.1. Now in this video, I wanted to share with you guys a few things you should do right after you update. And of course, I wanted to talk about some of the latest details as into what's new with iOS 17.3.1. Now you may remember where I talked about this software was already in testing and Apple could release soon. Well, they actually released it today on Thursday, February 8th. And I wanted to share with you guys the latest details Details. This software is only 630 megabytes of a download, give or take. And aside from iOS 17.3.1, the iPad also received the update 17.3.1 for iPad OS. We also have Mac OS 14.3.1, and we also have Watch OS 10.3.1 available for the Apple Watch. However, the Apple TV has not received any update, at least not yet as to the filming of this video. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the release notes here. Apple says that this one fixed is one bug within the iPhone that I've experienced a long time ago and it looks like now Apple is addressing this issue although there's plenty of other issues that we talked about such as cell network performance issues poor Wi-Fi connection issues some still reporting poor battery performance issues Apple addressed an issue here that the text may be duplicate or overlapping while typing this happened to me in the email application some time ago with iOS 17.2 I believe it was and 17.3 I haven't encountered that issue but it looks like some users continue to encounter an issue where text may unexpectedly overlap or duplicate when typing. Again, I've experienced this on my emails. So if you want to go ahead and update your iPhone, you can go ahead and do so. As of today, the software is officially out to the public. No beta testing. Now, there's a few things I recommend you do right after you update. If you continue to have Wi-Fi issues, cell service issues, the number one thing I recommend you do for those having cell service issue is go into general and then head on over into right here where it says transfer or reset iPhone and then you want to click on reset here and then you want to go ahead and click on reset network settings you can go ahead and click that and this will reset your network settings keep in mind you will have to reconnect to any wi-fi network that you were previously connected to in order to be able to reconnect to that wi-fi network but this will reset your cell service and your network settings so hopefully this will be improved although apple made no mention of this being fixed on this software update i typically recommend you do that the other thing i always recommend you do is head on over into the app store click on your avatar here on the top right swipe down hold and swipe down to refresh Fresh and make sure you update your applications for, of course, better compatibility with your applications. If there's any updates available for those apps for better performance, then you have those updates right away, even if you have those automatic app updates enabled. Now, if you want to check for carrier updates, you can also do so here in settings. Go to general and go into the about section. And if you do get a pop-up on your screen here to update your carrier settings, make sure you update your carrier settings as well. Now, not everyone will get a carrier settings update every time Apple releases a new software update. But if you do, of course, you want to make sure you check for that in case your iPhone has not done so automatically you can always update those settings as well but yeah only one bug that apple mentions here with ios 17.3.1 i'll continue testing the software over the next couple of days to give you guys any feedback in regards to wi-fi performance cell service issues and battery i know a lot of you guys still concerned about some of these issues and hopefully we'll see some fixes under the hood that apple didn't mention so stay tuned for that thank you for watching again ios 17.3.1 available for everyone right now I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.